stands are filling up for the sold-out clash between Bohemians and Shelburne. Sixth against seventh, the visiting team, a point ahead of Bowes coming into this game after a long break. Three weeks, must have felt like a lifetime for these teams. Both sides uh, are, have made uh, changes for this game. The biggest one, I think, is the Bohemians goalkeeper, Ty Ryan, because James Talbot is out. and We believe Jordan Flores is going to play in the left back, which we haven't seen before because Tyreek Wilson is suspended and, and Bowes' new signing, uh, Ryan Burke, is not yet uh, eligible. Other than that, it's a pretty strong front five. Shells are without um, Sean Boyd, who's suspended as well. We think Shane Farrell's playing up front, but we'll see how they line out. Uh, other than that, they're pretty settled. They, they have a new signing as well. If Scott van der Suis, who signed a Welsh goalkeeper, but he, again, is not registered, just like Josh Kerr and, uh, Kerr and John O'Sullivan. Dangerous ball into the box, but Kieran Kelly's going to get there first, and Thomas Amacheri has a chance to count. Oh, lovely touch. He beats Aid Irvin and bursts forward, and he's got the pace, and he's got, like, Shells don't have money back. It's... Promise tries to go by oh, O'Driscoll and O'Driscoll stood firm, didn't buy what Promise Amateri was selling, and the chance is gone. Great and defending by O'Driscoll. He, he knew he knew where. Uh, Damien Duff is hopping up and down there. He's really not happy as his defence is oh, dispossessed again. And the ball comes to Dawson Devoy and looks like going to have a shot. Dawson Devoy. Oh, oh what a goal! Right foot into the <laughs> left corner. <laughs> Brendan Clark on side and again shells caught playing out from the back. Dispossessed and a lovely finish from Dawson Devoy, although I don't think Brandon Clark will be particularly happy with the way he dealt with it. Dave, what a goal. Oh, unbelievable. He takes it over his feet and strikes it to the Brandon Clark's bottom left-hand corner and Joey Barton and Damien Duff are not too happy. They're showing on the pitch, the players there. Yeah, he's managed to time those runs really, really well. Close of trying to contain him. That's Flores. Across the case, a terrible pass, and Shane Farrell's in, and he's fouled by Kieran Kelly. And Kieran Kelly may see red here yes. because Shane Farrell was clearly through on goal. A really poor pass for Jordan Jordan Flores. And Farrell is furious. It's a red card. And he's reason for his red problem. card. Kieran Kelly bows down to ten men, and he can't really have any complaints because the shell striker was in. And I feel like shells in the first half bows played themselves into terrible trouble, and yeah. it's been probably been coming extend their lead over Bowes and put themselves into fifth yeah they're a good passing team Shelbourne like, so they're going to be knocking the ball around left to right it's just going to be from O'Driscoll he's looking for the run of Vikiki and a good save Great by Ty Ryan who's hurt himself and that is a big worry I think he's just got to <laughs> he saved it in a sore area yeah. rather than anything too serious but he put his body he put his body here's the ball here's the ball from O'Driscoll it's a lovely pass but Bowes with no pressure on the ball Shine all day, and he's had loads of space, and they haven't been able to find him. Here's O'Driscoll, he's looking for that pass, and he's, this time he, he has found them. Murphy trips um, Ledridge, I think now it's Moylan went down. Kane had to come back inside, he finds Ledridge, Ledridge one on one with Murphy. Murphy's on the yellow, he has to be careful. Lift off the ball, but Ty Ryan does really well, falls on the ball, and eats another couple of seconds out of that clock. But 4 5 3 1. Another ball on the pitch there, though. Yeah, but the ref hasn't spotted it, and O'Driscoll's got it off the pitch. Here's Dan Carr, Dan Carr looks wide where Shane Farrell's lurking behind Jordan Flores Farrell controls it well cross into the box it's a go oh it's off oh, the bar it's off the what bar a, what a ball by Shane Farrell it's Gavin Hodges I think he was off was he offside no no he just he just uh, two yards out and hits it off the bar and over the bar he, he's very disappointed with Bows that Bows are absolutely blessed yep. it was a great ball out to, out to Farrell they've given it back to Rory Feedy and Feedy under pressure from a couple of Shells players there's no runners and he just gives it straight back to Shells but if he moves it quicker they might have kept the ball for a while anyway another long ball forward from Ledwidge who switched back into the back three now Farrell oh, looks great, for Carr ball. Carr at the oh. back post and again another very good chance for Shelburne this is a great ball here it is it's ball forward from Ledwidge the ball from Ledwidge Shane Farrell has been one of Shells best players Feely gets a second head on it, it's out to another Shells attacker. Cameron Ledridge, back to Malin, Malin's touch is poor. And it's over, Bose, 10 man oh. Bohemians have held on for a 1 0 win at the, in the Dublin Derby. Dawson the Boys' early goal, enough to see them pass the Shelburne team who will have huge regrets about the chances they missed in that second half and a poor goal that they gave away at the same time. Kieran Kelly's red card put Bose under huge, huge pressure. But in the end, it's Bowes 1, Shelburne nil. Bowes are back to winning ways. Yeah, it's what we wanted. It was a tough uh, win. We had to grind it out, uh, going down to 10 men in particular. I thought we showed great character, great resilience, and um, and we were able to keep a, a, a clean sheet, which is obviously very important for us. So great start, like you said, to the second half of the season.